Hello. Let me get this launched. Welcome back. And I've got to start the stream by saying I'm sorry for the Robocop, uh, the tin can kind of audio. Yeah, my uh, headset died. So there's a new one. It's doing the Amazon Prime overnight shipping thing. I'll have it for next week, but I'm afraid you're going to have to endure my uh, this rather not as great vocal quality for today. Please bear with me. Um, Esper Control still rolling. We're going to make a few adjustments today as I thought about it a bit and came up with a few things I want to tweak. So, one, I want Jace out of there. I really don't like giving any targets for Fatal Push. Later in the game, they'll definitely have it in their hand. And early in the game, you're just turning on a card that would otherwise be dead. And if your opponent can't deal with Jace, it means that they don't have like a Fatal Push or a Magnus Spray or something rotting in their hand. Which means they have a handful of threats, which means Jace is a little too slow to help you deal with those threats. So it's usually not where you want to be in that situation either. So Jace is going to hit the skids. And that has kind of a ripple effect because now Broken Concentration has no outlet. And now... Uh, Scour to the Winds is strictly better, even if you never use the ability. Do we want another hard counter? That's another question that I keep wrestling with. And I don't know. I don't think I necessarily need another hard counter. But we'll keep the third one in there for now. And we also have another free spot in the deck. And I'm um, keep... I, I've been saying that I like uh, the idea of having at least one Grasp of Darkness in the deck. It is a good card. It's a little hard to cast, so you don't want too many. You don't want like a hand of two Grasp of Darkness with only one Black Source. But I think we can try uh, that one of right now. And otherwise the win cons can stay the same aside from losing that Vrins of Protege. And everything else, I think we're ready to roll. So let's get in there. Do a little more Esper. Uh, this is going to be the last day of Esper. It's going to be another week of a uh, three gameplay. I never really got in front of it this week after returning from traveling. I'll be home this weekend, so hopefully you get a four gameplay, four gameplay videos next week. But this week we're gonna have to cut it at three again, as we did with the snakes. So, and also sorry for getting this up late. I literally spent the first hour and a half on the computer trying to fix all the computer issues I ran into today. Only one of them being my headset. It's like the whole computer went nuts because I did some software updates. And next thing I know, I couldn't get OBS to work with anything, and I couldn't get duels to, to open for a period of time, and I still can't get Spotify to play. Anyway, you don't need to hear all that. You just want to see some magic, so let's do it. All of the lands enter tapped, but we're on the play, so I think we can get away with it. But we are going to lead on that catacomb, and not hope we draw a way to play it untapped. We're going to try to get blue up as quickly as possible. And what are we up against? Metal Sonic giving us a dark Avacyn look, and he's saying Swamp Go. Alright, we're gonna need more more blue sources. We've got all the blue cards in hand. But I think we can find them. I also think holding the sensor is gonna be wise. Uh, otherwise, how do I deal with the Liliana next turn? That can get me my other island. So let's get that job done. And the draw go can begins. Is this also Esper? It could be. Could just be giving me the black white look. And it is Abzan, at least for now. And I think I'll just take the straight two for one. Read for read the bones is a pretty important card for curving out. This is similar to countering a glimmer of genius. And it also just sends a message. <laughs> for just sending a message. I'm the one who draws cards. Not you. I don't know if I'd do that if I couldn't put a scatter up this turn, but since I can, I think that play makes more sense. Because now I'm prepared for Gideon, something of that nature. And it is a knight. Yeah, that gets a land. Let's, let's just say no. ETBs and such. Let's just say no to ETBs. Interesting, I haven't seen Knight of the White Orchid in the style of deck, so maybe I don't understand what I'm up against. But it does seem to be sticking to Abzan at the moment. I think we can guess there are some planes walkers. There always are. Uh, 
All right, five mana does. Nada. Interesting. No, oh, there's something. It's Ob. We'll say no to Ob. We could commit it, but why? Let's just scatter it. And we'll keep posing. I think we, this may be a memory game. We haven't drawn a way to get ahead of, on cards, and our opponent is ahead. Angel of Invention, huh? Yeah, we can commit that. That could be annoying. And then we'll give ourselves... Hmm, well, let's see what we draw. See what we draw and make a decision. Another land. I think we can try to wait one more turn, although that's scary. If you play something, I can't Fatal Push. I don't know, that's a gamble. Every turn that goes by, my memory is a little better, but not great. What should I assume? You just went for Omnixilis, just went for Angel. You could still have Soren or something like that. Now, if I memory here, you could just as easily get something to play. Something big and excellent, but then maybe I have an answer. I'm going to wait one more turn. This could be a big mistake, though. In fact, it's almost certainly a mistake. Why would I let him get something resolved this turn when he's going to resolve something after the memory anyway? Yeah, we're just supposed to do this now. As, as bad as it might be, now he gets one turn to resolve something. Good for him. <laughs> of course, he drew Ob again. But we have the cast out. We had a lot of ways to deal with Resolve Permanence, so that was one of the good things about memory. And then we can protect it with a scatter and a, and a scatter. A scatter on a scatter. Just thinking about the land to play, I think it's this one. And we'll take Ob away. And we'll hope that whatever other big annoying threats he has, that they're expensive. So he can only cast one, so we can shut it down. But, is there a Rex Sage? That's a good question. I wonder what the green... So he's still only showing us one green source. That's very interesting. I think I just let that resolve. Jace might have to bounce it next turn, but it doesn't have an ETB. Alright, Drana's Emissary. Well... I can't let the board get too far away from me, so now I get to scatter that. I always find it amazing that when I have like seven or eight lands on the battlefield and I memory, I draw at least four more lands. Okay, so that's good. Sort of. Need revolt. I think I can just play the Jace. If he kills it, I can revolt away the Angel. And have scatter. Okay. So it should be pretty hard to kill this Jace. I could bounce here, but I don't really want. I just. That doesn't feel right to me. I think I try to find a way to get that revolt. If he takes out this Jace somehow, or this cast out for that matter, I get to push it. We definitely are opposing Blessed Alliance, but he does not care. They never... They're, there's nothing to care about. You absolutely have to attack there. Um... Bum bum, skyship, huh? Well... I think I'll just counter that. Even though I could have the revolt. And we'll see if he has another way. Another way to get to Jace. He has Campbell. Ugh. That's annoying. Alright. Well, there's the Grasp. There, yeah, you win. <laughs> you go to the top. Okay, great. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. We can play the Gear Hulk to counter something and still have mana to Grasp and push. Or we could slam the Soren. All these are going to trigger a few drains. No big deal. Uh, is there any reason to do it now? It avoids blossoming defense and giving him revolt. I think I'd just rather see what he does, though. 
especially with a Gear Hulk in hand. See how he attacks, things like that. Moving right to combat, so we didn't have to think much about the card he drew. Makes it very likely it's a blank. Of which, he didn't have like any three mana creatures. He probably has at least two or three blanks. Uh, if he has another hit, it's an expensive one, because he didn't play it along with the Skyship. So we'll do this move. I don't think I want to slam a Gear Hulk here. Prepare. Well, now I can slam it. Yeah, now I can slam it. It'll probably die to a reprisal or something like that, but I can flashback Grasp and get this. Now, that's what the green light be for, is for the fight. Alright, leave a black open. The fact that he did that before blockers were declared means I can still jump in front if this Grasp somehow does not resolve. And I guess he might have a removal spell for the Gear Hulk, but let's find out. Oath of Liliana. Yep. No surprise. No surprise, Gear Hulk won't be here tomorrow. And there's the Angel. Okay. Interesting. Makes the critters. Let's see what we can draw. <laughs> it seems like they just want me to go round and round without Mixless and Angel of Invention and commit to memory. The game just has a will of its own. Let's see if we can find a sweeper. I'll take a glimmer. So... Let's can block, block, and activate here. And push that. Only really lets this gal through, which we could commit her, or we could just play Soren and even have a commit to protect it. And a fatal push seems good. Drain that off the field. See what you got. Fires up Vent and attacks with these. I can block with a Vent and push his Vent. It's a little risky if he drew a Fatal Push right here, but playing off the top, I think that's a. I'm still not going to lose either Planeswalker. Okay. Get rid of that. Alright. That went well. Land off the top. Not very good. And that'll bring the concession. Okay. So yeah, sometimes you commit to memory and you come out and things are okay on the other side. Let's try it again. I find myself using memory more than I ever thought I would. I always, I think, believe that memory was the weak half of that card and uh, the emergency button only, but I find myself using it more aggressively the more I play the card. The more often I just don't like my position, I can usually memory and come out okay, as the cards in my deck are usually at least as powerful and often more powerful than my opponents. It depends on, the, on what I'm up against, of course. Oh. Well, that made that decision easy. Metal Sonic wants no more. Wants none of this. I don't I don't blame you. Esper control can be a grind to play against. Especially if you hate playing against control decks. I know many people out there do. I hope some of you that like playing control decks or building control decks are enjoying watching this particular one, but I certainly find it true that you you don't off. You're not always in a mood to slug it out with a control deck. That's for sure. Please don't lock me up. Joining session. Uh, what's happening? What's happening? All right. 
Oh, at least it's not the same deck, even if it may be the same player, but this person's bringing the vampire look. Aggro vamps. Need some redemption. I think I lost to some aggro vamps recently. Aggro vamps, uh, in the comments. Good deck or bad deck? It's one of the polarizing ones. It's uh, kind of red-black vampires. Some people think that's really good, and some people think it's like a bad version of vehicles or just a bad version of mono red. But what is it? Is it top tier? Should I be playing it? Should I be playing it on stream on uh, these videos? What do you think? Anyway, Stank Nasty. I've definitely played against Stank Nasty before. Need more land. And this is going to be a slow connection, and I'm already um, stressing about it. Oof. All the cycling, though. And the cards are cheap. But no, I've got to try. Can't just keep that many cyclers and hope. Oh, this is really bad. This is really bad. I think we're just DOA. The three color mana base strikes again. When you can't draw the dual lands and you only draw the basic lands, it's just uh, it's no good. You need a combination. You need a few lands that enter untapped and a few lands that enter tapped to play together. But oftentimes this deck is just DOA because of mana. We already saw that once this week. Now that is a welcome draw, but it had to be a basic land. It couldn't be an isolated chapel or a shambling vent, could it? We have some powerful cards. If we can draw the lands to play them, things might be okay. Unfortunately, that is out of our hands. Dang nasty, he's going upstairs. You're not lacking land number two, are you? Oh my goodness. T-Rex slap fight for sure. As uh, our opponent, we are lacking... Uh, we're lacking in lands, and our opponent is lacking uh, in lands. But he is more lacking than we are. He might... Oddly, he might have all the colors he needs. <laughs> That'd be funny. He might have all the colors he needs on one land as we... Uh, try to put three colors together. Oh, never mind. It's red blue and he did draw a blue. And it is thing in the eyes. Okay. Not the most threatening. I can not scurred, but oh boy. Here we go. Here we go now. Time to start just ripping the nothings. The cards we can't play. Passing the turn doing nothing. And not not in the Drago way we want to be. It is take inventory. Alright. The inventory is starting to be taken. I almost wanted a Fevered Visions there to help me out. But here we go. Cross your fingers. The top of the deck must be kind. Uh, denied. Denied. Although that will be helpful if we do draw the land. Now, just trying to consider if I should be thinking about just throwing down these Blessed Alliances. Feels like I should. I mean, this thing is a long way off. And the life might really help me get there if our opponent's playing Burn. Which, they must have some burn component. They did just go shock your face. Yeah, I do want to just cast one, I believe. It's a little awkward, but it could buy me the time I need. And how about you? Would you like to cast a spell? Staying nasty? Would you like to play something? No, just, just sitting. Just running my timer. Just feeling the power of being in control. I'll just gain some life. Cool. You're not a land, uh, but I... Mm, to dig or to hold? I feel I have to dig. There are a lot of lands that enter the battlefield tapped in this deck. Evolving Wilds and Shambling Vent and the payoff. Whew! Okay. Sweet. And then our whole hand is on. We're drawn live. We're back in business. See if our opponent can punish us. They have not been able to punish us for stumbling so far. They haven't even been able to attack. 
I'm gonna play a cathartic reunion. That is a good call. I would love to commit one of those if I draw an untapped land. Oh yeah. Yeah, I'm gonna get I'm gonna get fiery tempered. Yep. I'm ready for that. Let's see if he can flip this. If he does, I'm ready. If he doesn't, do I languish it? I think I just commit it. But let's see. Magma spray his own critter to flip it. Attack me for seven. So it is. Ooh, does that mean it gets exiled? I think it does. Not that 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 probably isn't going to matter. All right, Stank, come and get it. I'm ready. I often believe because this happens to me, like. I burned that Blessed Alliance for 4 life earlier. When I make that play, it's usually because I also have one, another one in my hand. I'm just much more likely to fire off a play like that if I have another, or some other alternative. So the question here, does Stank think I have another? He saw me burn that one earlier, and we will... He decides to call it, and we will show him the Blessed Alliance. And that does exile, in fact, as he magma sprayed his own thing in the ice to flip it. It's not I don't I don't hate the idea. There's unlikely to be a lot of uses for that magma spray in the matchup. Oddly, if he just went fumeral to my face, I don't have an answer at this point. Two commits and an anguish on making all say non-land. Language says sorcery. I guess he knows. <laughs> I guess he sees through me. Balls of steel on this one over here. Although he can assume with two blessed alliances gone, maybe I don't have something else, but there is in fact a lot of black cards that could help here. Fatal push grasp of darkness. Yeah, take my beats. I'm gonna try to pause. Like, it's not letting me pause right now. I'm trying. I am trying to pause. So I'm nervous I will not get this glimmer off. Come on. It should be... It should be auto, uh... should be auto advancing at this stage. There's nothing else he can do, right? Oh, I guess he can pay zero and flip it. Maybe that's what he's sitting on. Yeah, he's sitting on whether or not to flip his wandering funeral over again. Come on, come on. Oh my god, really? Yep, there you go. Skip my turn. Just straight skipped my turn. Well, if I let the shields down, then he might be able to resolve something worse for me, like a big Chandra, so I have to... Oh my god, the lag. The lag's intense. Well, this game just kind of went out the window as far as... Uh, what we can learn from it as a, something like that where you just don't get to resolve your glimmer of genius that has a lot of cascading effects and I knew it might be rough I was trying to activate it from the moment he attacked and here we go again will I be able to activate it this time I definitely want to wait till he attacks I don't want to, I want to take every possibility like a dispel off the table so this but now okay he's attacking Let's just... there we go. All that took was one click. Uh, I want the Swamp. I don't think I want the Scatter. I need an answer to Fumeral Hell, which my opponent seems dead set on locking me into. And... Uh, so far no good. Do I just play Ob and start ticking? Risk the big Chandra? I don't think so. I think that's a bad plan. I think I wait at least another turn, another draw step, and at least try to psych him out of another attack phase. But I might... This is uh, the punishment for burning that Blessed Alliance, I'm guessing. 
Yeah, he's just gonna beat me down with it. Bravo. Still, if I'd resolve that glimmer, you'll never know what the next uh, card or two on top of my library would be. So it doesn't matter. Still have to try to win, but it's really frustrating to have something like that happen when you're recording a game and trying to do well. Also frustrating to have somebody this careful, but I guess he was lagging too, so it's probably not his fault. And that's not a solution. So do I have to ob for it? I should have uh, done a black for it so I could draw a fatal push. I guess I opt for it next turn, because what are my solutions? Grasp of Darkness, that won't work, with Ob anyway, if it's three cards down, or two cards down. Plus Alliance will work, Fatal Push will work, there's only one Grasp of Darkness. What else would work? Anything else in the deck? That's why I have written down necklace. Um, Gearhulk will work. He's not going to cast anything, and he hasn't shown me a sixth land. We're just going to slam this. If I draw the Fatal Push, I'm going to feel really bad. Now, he might have the Shock. But I should have done this last turn. Anyway, there's a Glimmer. Let's see if I'm dead. Should have held the Blessed Alliance. Always hard to see how things will play out, but I should have held the Blessed Alliance. That's on me. Oh, he's going to go for his Cathartic. Does he have double temper? He has one temper. Does he have double shock? Let's find out. Done. If you got it, man, don't slow roll me. Although, what could, what, what more could I expect from the way this game has been so far? <laughs> hmm. If he has shock. Wow. Wow. Is that the play? Because I still, I still don't have anything for this. Which he didn't go for last turn for some reason, so I feel like he's just waiting to hit me with lethal. Oof. What do you do in this spot? I think I sit on my commits and hope to glimmer into a removal spell if he activates this. Now, do I go to two? I don't think so. I think that would be a mistake. As much as I need cards, that would be a mistake. Got a play? No, no play. Interesting. The play is a thing in the ice, that's fine. I can kill that with Ob. That's the plan anyway. Don't want to tap my mana to deal with it, even playing like an Essence Scatter. I need the mana up if he's going to activate this and attack to glimmer into something. What do I need to leave up? I'll need to leave up black, black, blue, white. That would do. Alright, he's going for Reveler. Now he can't cast this. I think this... He's going to discard a lot of cards, but rip three. I think this is worthy of a Scatter. And pause me. This is also a target for Soren if I can get him to tap low. Alright. If he had the burn spell, he'd have played it, right? Okay. Second rebel. I can kill the reveler, fine. So, yeah, I'll let him discard from here. T 
two axes. He has spell shrivel. Interesting. Harness lightning. Okay. This is going to be another one where it's stopping the timer. Whew. Tempting fate over here. Shock doesn't kill me. So let's go for this glimmer. No. Hmm. Interesting. Alright, Soren. We'll go for five. Right there. Kill you. I haven't played a land. I think I should cycle this. I mean, I'm not threatening anything with one mana. Okay, well, let me hit another land drop, although then I wish I'd cycle the cast out, but it's okay. Then I could cycle uh, the sensor with the blue mana, but you just don't know what you're going to hit. Alright, can you deal me eight? My opponent couldn't deal me three the last couple of turns. Can he deal me eight? He's firing up that funeral. Which, by the way, still not an answer to. If my opponent had just kept using it, they would have won, but... Of course, you never have a way to know. And he's going for Soren. Makes sense. Soren can gain life. It's a big deal. And he now has two funerals on the battlefield. And I have all this non-landy stuff. And there goes another reunion. So he's played very well with reunion to not let it get countered or messed with. And make sure he gets to see his cards and not get three for one. So bravo. You've done that well, Stank Nasty, and your playing pace has become much more reasonable, so I appreciate that. Uh, he's not at 10 where he can attack with two of these. Let's, let's try to find the card that we need. That is... That, that, that makes the list. That is definitely useful. Man, the idea of, like, memory in this game sounds really bad. The amount of burn spells he might be able to rip when I say draw seven. Tower. You can cast out your tower. That's four. Then we have five. Two of that does a grasp. Okay. You get a tower. Cast that out now. See if he wants to respond. Should be gone for good against Blue Red unless he also plays Commit to Memory, which half his deck gone. I haven't seen Disperse or Commit to Memory. Mm hmm. And wait until he taps it in case he has a card like a Dispel in hand or a Shock something he would cast for one mana. So you have to wait till he attacks. I would love to I'd love to save some time, but that's not in the cards. And now we need another one. Now we need another one. We waited too long though to come at me with those. Sensor. Oh, well, nowhere to go but up. As risky as it is. I'll go. Half our deck gone. A uh, Disciple of the Ring would be an excellent rip. I can't believe we're still in this game. I can't believe this game is still going. This will probably be the last game and the conclusion of Esper Control, so let's try to send it out well. Yeah, that's fine. I'm not gonna not gonna fight with a take inventory as much as I may want to. Pretty bad for me the deeper he gets in his deck, because we know he has uh, basically draw seven waiting in there somewhere. Alright, here it comes. Again, we have to wait till he taps it. This is going to be a big uh, pair of cycles. Alright. 
right. Let's cycle the sensor. Please don't lag me this time. All right? Let's cut the cast out. Where my fatal push is at. Wow, can't do it. Ah, oh, hurts. Hurts so bad. Hurts so bad. Down to two. Definitely goes back to that one blessed alliance. Who would have known I'd get this far in the deck and be unable to deal? Oh, there it is, too. Well, do I draw this card? Uh, one and two aren't that different. It's not like he's going to have a card that just deals one damage to me. If he has, like, a one of Sunscorched Desert, then well, that's that's my life. <laughs> there is a scout. Okay. Say go. We don't have a way to see more cards right now, though. Unless you count memory, which, my god... Riskiest play of the day, right there. But maybe the play depends what happens in the next couple of turns. Yep, don't stop with the fumarole. You gotta go for it. You gotta go for it. You didn't even have to flip it. Alright, pause. Fatal push. You're gonna have to do this the old-fashioned way, man. You gotta find a way through. That is fine. I will eat it. I definitely want to keep getting lands and thing my deck in case I do have to cast that memory. In case we get into the most desperate of desperates. Ooh, shambling event. Nom. Ob food. That's it. So unless his hand is like shock, shock, shock. Shock. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, if he has double shock, yeah, I can't eat it. Or triple shock. But the idea of like committing it into his deck and then having him about to draw it again and having to cast memory to avoid that is terrifying. All right. Let's uh, go ahead and commit that. Let's put off his card draw. Or is that the right play? It's a draw three. It's so good. And right at a time when I need my vent. But you know what? If I fight over that, I think I'll lose the fight over my life total. Where's all his land? Does he run like 20 land in this thing? I guess he just pitched them to reunions and I fatal pushed his fumaroles. I guess that makes some sense. Here comes the shock. Alright. That's the cheapest one, so I want that one to get countered this way. There's a pause. Okay, one down. What else you got? All those cards, too. He runs Harness Lightning and Lava Axe. All the lava axes are gone. He might still have one harness lightning. That's fine. I'm gonna kill it with Ob. Not gonna fight over it. I could also kill it with Languish. I could also put it in his deck. I mean, that's a dead draw, but man. Nah. I think that's a little too cute. Okay, so I could suicide Ob or I could keep Ob around. If I go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, then I can't commit and commit, so yeah, we're going to Suicide Ob. Let's see what happens when I send in the vent. As we desperately try to get out of that burn range. Here's the pause, here's the Harness Lightning. Mm-hmm. Alright, 
So I commit it. And then I'm hoping he doesn't have one more, like two more burn spells. But we know he's going to draw that second from the top. And we know there probably isn't another easy way to get rid of lightning that wouldn't go face. So that's, we just got to hang on. Fiery temper. Yep. Commit. If you got another one, I'm dead. Spell shrivel. Uh, alas, the spell shrivel showed up. Well, that was a fun game. Man, it turned out to be a good game. But I'm depressed by that Glimmer of Genius lag turn, as that Fatal Push being another card up in the deck would have kept us from taking another hit from that Fumeral, would have won the game. And as far as mistakes, I should have uh, I shouldn't have played that Muscle Alliance, I suppose. It's hard to see that far down the road, but I should. I should look that far down the road. It's my job, right? Um... Mm -hmm. Changes to the deck, I'm not set on it. You know, even after playing it a number of games, uh, both on and off camera, I, I always feel like there's more work to be done. I still love Essence Scatter, though. And obviously, you gotta draw your lands, and they have to be decent, and you have to draw Fatal Push. I've tinkered with playing with more dual lands, the ETB tap ones, but they're just not good enough. Aether Hub I don't think is good enough, although maybe a one of Aether Hub isn't a terrible idea. It's not something I like. Um, yeah, I wouldn't try to change much else. I think Esper Control is what it is in this world. I don't think it's the best control deck by far, but it's a much beloved control deck, and I think you can make it a solid tier two in the right meta. It can really kick some butt. And I think it just loves uh, mid-range. When your meta's all mid-range, Esper Control thrives. I don't think it likes other control decks, I don't think it likes burn decks, and I don't think it likes uh, aggro decks. Just but in mid-range land, you want to be the Esper control player. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed the videos. I'm really still just bumming about the lag, but you gotta let that one go. Alright, see y'all later. And it'll be a new deck, by the way, next week, so look forward to that.